And so, from this moment, from this moment, I hope, that's what I'm saying. Let's see if I can do it. Come on. From this moment, I'm going to stop. I've decided I'm going to stop. Hello, wonderful people. How are you? Well, I want to continue on the theme of people dying and, and what happens after. Okay? So, I'm going to tell you about a wonderful conversation I had with the emissaries that made me realise that I need to be more humble. And I need to stop assuming, because when we assume, we make an ass of you and me. I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So, in my egoic fashion, I was sitting pondering about my aunt who had passed over. Now, for me, and I know we talked about, you know, she was doing her thing, I've got to, you know, get over that. But I had this little funny thought and I was thinking, imagine when she gets over to the other side and she's going to look and she's going to have this information. She's going to say, oh my God, and listen to my words, Gordon was right, okay? And she's going to see all of this stuff and go, oh my God, how did I not see that? So that was my kind of little fantasy. And it won't be funny. You know, I've had the same fantasy about my father, Jehovah's Witness all of his life, hasn't spoken to me for years, probably, you know, no relationship. And I always think, when he dies, and you go to the other side and they go, uh, um, hands up all the Jehovah's Witnesses, yeah. Your family was right. You were wrong, okay? Little fantasy. So, I was asking the emissaries, and I said, you know, when people get to the other side, and they realize the folly of their ways, listen to the language I'm using, realize the folly of their ways, do they get upset? You know, is it like traumatizing for them? And they said, no, not really, and not very often. What they said was, when somebody, and what was interesting, when this concept, because I, I hear words, but I also just get these concepts sometimes. And they just went, boom, there's a concept. And I went, oh, okay. But then I had to create kind of like a narrative to go with it. But it was like, when they get to the other side, what happens is they've got access to the whole history of who they are, of who they've been. They've got access to the plan that they've just been working on the earth. And they've got access to understanding what that plan was. So they've got the reference of their life and the plan, and they can look and say, there, I did, I did it. And what the emissary said was that the vast majority of souls who go over are very, very happy because they have fulfilled their plan, okay? Their pattern, the weaving pattern, they've wove the right pattern. And they said the vast majority of people just because you're kind of coming to a place where you know, ah, okay. And so it, there's no surprise. It's like a remembering. It isn't a finding out. You know, that, that, that's where I was getting myself mixed up. I was thinking you go to the other side and then you find out. Oh my God, it really was the case and blah, blah, blah. That's not the way that it works according to the emissaries. You get back, you get to that place and you remember so it's just like, ah, okay, yeah, yeah, right, here we are again, and let's have a look. Oh, yes, I did, I did fulfill my plan. They said that the vast majority of souls have that, so there's no trauma. They're very happy. They're happy that they've done it, you know, whatever plan. You know, I was saying about my aunt who, who spent her life helping people. For sure, she gets to the other side, understanding that, and goes, yeah, get her in, I, you know, I did what I wanted to do, which was to go down and help people. Beautiful. The emissary said that some souls do arrive with trauma. And what they said is the trauma is created by them coming, remembering, and then looking at what they've done on the earth. And they said, the trauma comes from when they have really gone off their path 
off their plan and when they've done things that have hurt a lot of people but wasn't in their plan is is this important okay because look you know we can't we've got to be honest the the baddies here they're working their plan and so they're in their plan that's what they were supposed to do but i think the the emissaries were saying the trauma comes from people who aren't working who didn't work the plan who, who went off piste and did stuff that they shouldn't do they can be traumatized and they said sometimes they need a bit of help they need a bit of therapy they need some coaching whatever to help to get themselves you know hey it's okay but they said very few and far between the vast majority of people are over the moon that they have accomplished their plan and so from this moment from this moment i hope that's what i'm saying let's see if i can do it come on from this moment i'm gonna stop i've decided i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop looking at other people and stop waiting for other people to do stuff i'm gonna stop expecting other people getting frustrated when other people don't i'm just gonna stop it because everybody's here doing their thing doing their thing the great awakening is happening regardless in fact the feeling I get, and I don't know how you feel about this, understanding what I understand, there's nothing that we can do to stop this great awakening. There's nothing. There's nothing that we need to do to make the great awakening happen. Everyone's coming down with their plan to make this happen in whatever way that that happens. And I think that it's time. It's almost like a feel that I don't need to be pushing something. I'm not going to talk to people about it unless they want to know. I'm really not. I'm not going to be starting, uh, you know, argy-bargy with people, offering stuff up that from, to people who don't want it. Why? You know, I, I'd, I'll give you an example. Like, you know, we were talking about the lines in the sky. No coincidence. And uh, they've been giving it welly, like welly. But we had a month with nothing. Blue skies, beautiful. And now it's like, I mean, it's, it's so ridiculously obvious. I mean, they're just going like this. And we have 50 planes in the sky. It's just incredible with some lovely patterns they're making. I've got to say that. I saw nearly all the alphabet today in the sky at various times. And I'm thinking, how can people not see that? Why can people not see that? Why don't people just do a very simple thing? Simple thing of no planes in the sky, no lines in the sky today. No planes in the sky, no lines in the sky. Today, same type of day, lines in the sky. You know, it's just a very, you know, hop. It's not even a hop, skip and a jump. It's like a, a stumble of thought to go, why today? Have we got 57 planes visible, all leaving shit? And yesterday we didn't have a plane in the sky. Why is that? So that's my, and I, I, I'm boiling up inside. Why can, not, why can people not see it? Look up, for God's sake. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to stop it. Because it's not helping anybody. It's certainly not helping me. It's not making people see them. And it's just, it's just taking the joy out of my life. I can see them. That's it. You can see them. That's enough. That's enough. We don't need other people to see them. Why? Spoil their life as well? <laughs> Ruin their pattern? Just let them do their stuff. That's what I'm going to do. Just let them do their fucking... Let them fucking do their own stuff. There, I'm getting worked up now. Just let them do their thing. And I'm just going to do my thing. My thing, my thing, I believe is you know living my life bringing my family up you know being a good husband being a good father working hard doing these videos i love doing them i know i'm i've, I've got to do them i cannot not do them it's my job okay for what i don't know a thousand people to see the videos across the channels a thousand people fantastic that's it and those thousand people that watch the videos then will be doing their thing and helping their groups and whatever and that, that's enough but all of this wanting people to see things that i see 
wanting people to think things that I think, wanting people to do things that I do, it's a waste of time. I've been wasting my energy and I'm stopping it right now. I've had enough. I want a break. I want to rest. I really do. I want to rest. I want to have a break from my own uh, mental trauma. I've had enough. And let things roll out. I mean, my God, look, you know, I, I believe there's a point we're going to get to. We, we were the forerunners, right? We were up at the front end, waking up. And we've carried a tremendous, I mean, you know, I'm talking about it and I know you probably feel the same. We've carried the weight of responsibility for this fucking Great Awakening. It's like, you know, as if I were actually had the job of making the Great Awakening happen. That's how I felt, like, I've got to, we, we, I've got to do it. And it, what a load of bollocks. It's going to happen anyway. You know, and, and I think what's going to happen is this. Those people who are waking up are going to pick up the ball and they're going to run with it like Billio. And I believe that we will actually be able to sit back a little bit, have a little bit of a breather. That's how I feel. Like th there'll be a point where we won't, you know, it, it'll run away with itself and we will then just become the observers going, wouldn't do that if I were you. That wouldn't be me. You know, we, we'll be there. We, we, I mean, we'll, you know, we'll be there with a straw, you know. Yeah, uh, if I were you, but too late, they'll be off and they'll be doing all kinds of stuff. They'll be they'll be doing wild stuff, stuff we would never do, you know, stuff we've learned that you shouldn't do. They'll be doing it, and I just think we'll have we'll have like a bit of a breather, and we might even feel start feeling uncomfortable about them what they're doing, you know, like. Oof, oof. But hey, there's nothing we can do. It's going to have a life of its own. And I think that's, for me, that's what I need to remember is that this has got a life of its own. I don't need to give it life. It's already got a life. Yes, the things that we can do to help it along, but it's all, the things that we do to help it along are all up here. They're not here. You know, I, this positive outlook of, you know, we know what the future we, we want. That's what we have to do. But all this angst, I'm sick of angst. I'm up to here with angst. I'm fed up of it. I want, I want nice. We're going to have some nice. Let's have some nice for a little bit. I love you all. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.